Welcome to Kale's Coil Farm. They're finally here. The pansy fee chicks have hatched. So far I've had 14 of 25 shipped eggs hatch. Which is not bad. That's better than 50%. So, here they are. I don't know if I'll have any uh, late hatch or not. But at the very least, this will give me a start. And once they grow up, well, I think we're really going to like these pansy fees. Still haven't gotten the other cage completed yet. I'm having trouble uh, <laughs> affording the plywood right now. Prices are out of sight. I really like this yellow one. I can hardly wait to see them when they grow up. Fun to watch. Okay. And here's the 11 week update for my pans, or excuse me, my fab feed chicks, or quail, that I hatched from my Shire Farms eggs. I still think that this one right here, well, that one right there might actually be a pansy fee. I'm not positive yet. We shall see. This is cage number seven. I got three cages that have the uh, fab fees in them. They're all doing great, looking good. They're all laying on a regular basis. The size of their eggs are starting to come up a little bit more. And I'm still getting you know, between 9 to 11, every now and then, surprisingly, even 12 eggs a day from these guys. So, there they are. I'm loving these guys. And then we've got the Fab Feet Chicks that I hatched out from their bird, you know, from their eggs, the first batch. They are one week old. Just got through changing their paper. Uh, the heat lamp just came on, so that might interfere with the picture. But they're, they're looking good and growing up. I think in my last video, I said I had 18 that hatched, and I believe I lost one. I'm not sure why, but you know, that's to be expected. But they're all doing pretty good. There they are. Growing like crazy. <laughs> Isn't ideal but it's a little better. They now have twice as much space as they did before. These are the Jumbo Wilds that I showed you in the uh, brooder last week that were severely overcrowded. I still haven't been able to count them. I estimate there's got to be about 45 to 50 birds and this is it's crazy. I made a mistake hatching as many as I did at once. Uh, but there they are. Keep an eye on them and I'm going to try and uh, bring out my uh, grow my grow up cage. I've been using as a uh, transfer cage to try to thin this down a little bit more. But they're all doing good. So, they're really looking good. And then my jumbo wilds up here. These guys are six weeks old now. They haven't started laying eggs yet. I'm hoping they will. I got six hens and one rooster in this cage. I try 
to make sure that I have uh, 10 and 2 all the time, but, well, you can't always get what you hope for. I usually end up with more roosters than I do hens, which, you know, nobody's figured out how to change that. There are rumors on how you can do it, but uh, it's not proven, and uh, from what I've heard there, you sacrifice one thing to get another, and uh, I'm not doing it. I'll just go by luck of the draw and see what I get. So... There's the uh, the ones where I've only got eight hens in there. I'm gonna grow up some roosters and uh, add to them. Add some roosters and hens. Those it'll probably come out of the ones that I'm growing up that came out of the brooder. So. Okay, that's about it for now. So. As usual, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and if you would, please share it on Facebook and your other social media and let other people know. I'm hoping to eventually start selling eggs, you know, at least locally. I can't ship, you know, across state lines, but <clears throat> I figure it's a start. I'm going to start out slowly and see how it goes. Uh, if anybody local to me, you know, the Alton, Illinois area, is interested, you know, send me a, a message, you know, email me, and uh, we'll see what we can do. There they are, and we'll see you next week.